Hi everyone, my name is Frida and I'm back with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how I made these plicajure enamel earrings. I've chosen to make mermaid tails and the first step was of course to draw the design. I glued it on a copper sheet. This is a very thin copper sheet, a little bit thicker would be more fortunate but this is what I had on hand. I punched holes in the middle of the sections where the cutouts going to be. Plicajure is a French word means letting in the daylight. It is a type of enamel where there is no backing similar to stained glass. I'm cutting out the sections here with my saw where is the enamel going to go. The design always have a metal outline filled with transparent glass-like enamels. These metals can be copper, silver or gold. Here I'm cutting out the shape of the earrings. I did the other pair of camera. I filed the outside and the inside edges with my needle files the best I could. Now comes the interesting part. I've chosen not to have any backings and for that technique I needed a little bit drier enamels. Not dry, but not very wet either because otherwise it would have dripped all over the place. So here I'm trying to do magic and get these enamels in the cells, which is not an easy thing to do. I work with gravity, sometimes I turn around the piece and use a paintbrush and a little scraper also. Enamel is going to end up on the frame, there is no avoiding that. I can clean off as much as I can, but there is going to be always leftovers. I can fix that at the end when I do the sanding. Technically I could use a copper foil as a backing but I decided against it because it's a very thin copper sheet and I'm afraid that the enamel would break when I remove it. I dried them out on the top of my kiln. When it was done I put it in my kiln but only for a minute because I didn't want the enamel to drip. Enamel shrinks during firing so when I removed it from the kiln it looked really terrible, but I was expecting that. As you can see, the enamel pulled away from the walls and the copper oxidized too. I put it in pickle to clean off the oxides. Now that it was clean, I went ahead and filled in the gaps again. I'm using two colors, a green and a blue. Plicajure gained popularity in France during the Art Nouveau era. It's a perfect technique to make leaves, flowers, insects like butterflies or dragonflies. Art Nouveau is my favorite art style, so that made me really excited for this technique. Here I'm done with the second filling and I fired it again off camera, but only for 40 seconds this time. You have to experiment with the firing time, it depends on how big is your piece and how hot is the kiln. I of course pickled it after firing and here I'm filling in the leftover gaps. I dried it and fired it again and that's how it looks now. There's no more gaps so I think it's ready for sanding. I sand it in the same way as I would do with cloisonne enamel. I use diamond pads and a lots of water. The only difference is that I sand both sides. I decided to polish up the glass as much as I could because I wanted to skip the last firing. Enamel loses its shine during the sanding process so the last firing would give me the shine back but frankly I was just so scared that the enamel gonna pull away from the walls and the piece is going to get ruined that I decided against it. The last step is to add the ear wires. You can buy these but I think the best if you make them because they're gonna look more handmade and unique. So this is how they turned out and I took them out to the sunshine because I was hoping that the sun going to shine through them a little bit and I can show you how the colors look in real life. Let me know what you think and if you like these earrings and this video please like, share and subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye!